Good evening. Welcome to the Leary City Council meeting for Monday, December 19th, 2022. At this time, I'd like to have a moment of reflective silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Chief Podesty, would you please lead us in the pledge? Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Chief. Mr. Clerk, I have roll call, please. Yes, sir. Mr. Callahan. Here. Mr. Sierra. Here. Mr. Oswald. Here. Mr. Corbin. Here. Mrs. Mitchell. Here. Mr. Tillette. Here. Mr. Lippian. Here. Mrs. Davis. Here. Mrs. Simmons. Mr. Schneider. Here. Mr. Stewart. Here. Ten present, one absent. We had a call in from Mrs. Simmons for an excuse to be excused tonight. Can I get a motion for Ms. Simmons? So moved. Moved Second. by Mr. Sarah, second by Ms. Mitchell. Is there any further discussion? Question. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Public hearings. We have one. You are hereby notified that a public hearing will be held on Monday, December 19, 2022 at 7 p.m. to consider the following. An ordinance pursuant to Chapter 913 Codified Ordinances of the City of Elyria, Ohio, vacating a portion of Merchant's Alley located between Kerstetter Way and Washington Avenue in the City of Elyria, Ohio. Are there any proponents? Are there any proponents? Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? Are there any opponents? Are there any opponents? I declare this public hearing has been held. Sponsored by Community Development, an ordinance pursuant to Chapter 913, Codified Ordinances of the City of Valeria, Ohio, vacating a portion of Merchant's Alley located between Kerstetter Way and Washington Avenue in the City of Valeria, Ohio. Mr. Callahan. Mr. President, I move that this ordinance be passed on its first reading under suspension of rules. Second. Second by Ms. Mitchell. Is there any further discussion? Question. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-203. That's all the public hearings. Can I get approval of the minutes? So moved. Moved by Mr. Sierra. Second. Second by Mr. Schneider. Is there any further discussion? Question. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carried. Remarks and reports from city officials. Mayor Whitfield. Thank you, Council President, and to City Council and to all the residents. Uh, good evening. Uh, before I get into my remarks, I wanted to uh, welcome the four new police officers we swore in this afternoon into the Lear Police Department. I'm sure Chief will mention that in his remarks and talk more about that. I uh, also want to wish everyone out there a happy holidays, a safe and happy holidays. Um, and, you know, as you can see, I'm wearing my mask because it, it, the bug is getting around. So please take care of yourself so you can enjoy your holidays and Merry Christmas from my family to yours. Uh, I also want to thank the Finance Committee for a very productive finance meeting we had last week. Uh, we'll be introducing the other departments in the coming months. Uh, we got some major capital items uh, that the city is in need of. Um, and again, we have a great opportunity between ARPA and our current financial health to, to make some of these um, transformational investments, uh, but we have a levy pending uh, that if it doesn't pass would really flip the city upside down. So uh, therefore, Council President, um, I'm referring to the appropriate committee, uh, the consideration of the issue of the renewal of the um, half percent income tax uh, that's been renewed now for over 30 years and is critical to funding our police and fire. And without this, uh, we'll be in, in, in some dark places, but with it, I believe we'll be in a position this year to make some major investments in our city relating to our central maintenance, our police, our fire, our parks, um, and more. So uh, I hope this committee will approve the request and that we'll begin working on passing the issue this upcoming May. We've already begun to start to develop a steering committee with our chiefs, our parks director, our administration. Uh, and as, as it proceeds through your process, we'll begin to engage you all 
and some of those key stakeholders out in the community. So if you uh, want to get involved, please let us know as well, but available for any questions. Okay. We'll have that referred to strategic planning uh, for that. Um, can you give us any update on it now, Mayor, or is this you're just kind of formulating everything together as you mentioned? Yes, yeah, so our next meeting uh, is actually this Wednesday where we'll be meeting to uh, really review um, uh, what we've done in the past to help pass this levy. You know, um, our ACE over here is now available. We are waiting for our ACE to get back. And so now that he's back, going to spend some time with uh, Director Pileski and really uh, learn about how this thing has been passed over these past 30 years. So it's just internally within in your office or is a, is a public forum or time-wise? Yeah, this, this next uh, meeting is really just the steering committee, but once okay. we get through this, folks can show up. I think scheduled for 6 o'clock at the American Legion. So folks want to show, they can show, but, um, you know, we're trying to get our, our grasp around this before we engage the broader public. And it has to go through this process to get approved first. Sure. And the goal is to be on the May uh, ballot. Okay. Any questions for the mayor in regards to uh, Mr. Tillett? Does anybody else have any other questions before Mr. Tillett gets up in regards to any other comments? All right, Mr. Tillett. Mr. Tillett, Mr. Tillett, if you, gentlemen, if you could, Mr. Tillett, if you could, can you recognize these gentlemen as, for their names as well, just because a lot of us don't know. So once you're done with your photo session there and get your NIL going, you guys will be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, tight end, slot, receiver, um, corner, just out at the end, left guard and left back. 
Very good, gentlemen. We appreciate it. Thank you for representing O'Leary. Good luck with your academics for the rest of the year. Yep. Congratulations again, gentlemen. Thank you for coming up here. You worked hard for what you've gotten this far. Good luck to your future. Thank you, Mr. Tillett. I'll take two of you and I'll go take the other. Assistant Safety Service Director, Ms. Uh, Ms. Calvert. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I feel like a buzzkill after that, but I do want to <laughs> remind everybody that we are anticipating some um, poor winter weather conditions this weekend. Um, we are working with all of the city departments to make sure that they are prepared and ready um, to, to handle any and all conditions that happen. I was on the phone with First Energy earlier today. They already have crews out um, anticipating any issues that they might have and they will be available. Um, throughout the weekend if we if we do have any issues that they'll be available for and we are working on identifying all of the warming shelters in the city right now and we'll be communicating that via social media this week um, so we're we're working on having all of our bases covered in the event um, that we do have some bad weather I'm hoping it blows over um, but it's not looking that way right now okay well very good thank you for any questions for Ms. Calvert Good. Finance Director Plusky. Thank you, Mr. President. I just would like to wish everybody in attendance and their families a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Plusky. Law Director Deary. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd be remiss if I did not um, let you all know that uh, Attorney uh, Brunig is a St. Ed's man, so. Mm -hmm. He would be happy uh, with the proclamations this evening. Um, and a bit of a, a bittersweet uh, note, um, Prosecutor Brandon Oliver will be leaving my office uh, in the new year. He is moving on to bigger and better things, which is always a possibility um, when you have good people working for you. Um, he's going to become a magistrate for Judge Sherry Glass over at um, Domestic Relations Court, so I do wish him well, although um, I am most certainly sad to see him go, um, but I do wish him well. Um, and um, also, I, that means that I do have a um, job posting currently up, so if you know anyone that will fit um, the bill um, of uh, replacing Mr. Oliver, which is lively personality, uh, et cetera, et cetera, uh, you can send him my way. That posting is up on the city website. And I have no um, nothing further to report, but I am happy to answer questions. Any questions for Ms. Deary? Thank you, Ms. Deary. Please pass your on our well wishes to Mr. Oliver and thank him for his service. Lear Police Department, Chief Pelko. Thank you. I too would like to wish you and the citizens a uh, happy holidays and remind everybody to be safe and call for a driver if you're going to be out celebrating with some alcohol beverages. Um, but yeah, we swore in four uh, police officers today with the mayor here in council at three o'clock. 
Brandon Gonzalez, um, he is a certified police officer already, so he, he'll hit the road running. Nicole Gentili, um, she will have to go to the police academy at LCC, um, which starts January 3rd, and we anticipate her graduating in June, and then go on the, she'll be on the road. Jacob Shackelford, he is also um, a certified police officer already and will hit the road running. And Alex Zigray, um, who will be going to the police academy as well. So uh, we wish them the best of luck and we're happy to have them on board. And that'll put us at 85 officers um, for the department. So I have nothing further, but I'll be happy to answer any questions if you have them. Chief, the two that are going to go right into the hit the ground running, will they have like a transition with another officer for a couple weeks or? How does yeah. that work generally? So they'll go with an orientation period for three weeks where they do in-house stuff. Um, we get them certified on their firearms, tasers, self-defense. They'll um, sign off on policies and procedures. And then they get that put with a police officer who's a training coach. And that process takes five months with another officer. So it'll take at least five and a half months before they're on their road on their own. Okay, very good. Any other questions for uh, Mr. Oswald? Through you, Mr. President. We're going to be voting on your armored car, and I was just curious, where are we going to park that thing? Well, that's a good question. So we, we just got a new parking lot, and we've got a couple options. There's CMG, where we talked with Strozek, uh, Mr. Strozek about parking it there, um, but uh, we're in the talks about building ourselves a bigger building where we could put that in um, right behind the police station where the radio station is. Ideally, that's where I would like it, but those funds haven't been approved yet. I'm actually meeting with the um, architect next week to go over some plans for that building. Thank you. you any other questions for Chief Pelko? Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Your Fire Department, Chief Pernesti. Good evening, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Happy Holidays to everybody. Um, just really wanted to go over one item that you may be reading about this coming week that uh, will affect the fire department and that is with the county and a radio system that um, the commissioners, I hope, are going to be voting on. Um, the commissioners, which I will need the support from the administration and city council, uh, I brought this up before, but uh, bring you up to speed. The county has ARPA money that um, they have been debating and in much discussion uh, have decided to uh, purchase the new radios and to get all the county fire departments on one large system. Think of a cell uh, provider kind of system where we'll be all be able to talk to each other. Um, it's hard to believe that since 9-11, uh, police and fire departments have been, that was a problem and we're still debating and still having problems. Uh, the one thing I ask from you is if you run into a commissioner, um, you stress the importance. Um, I will be speaking at the commissioner's meeting uh, but this this system has got to go through. And if we were to purchase it ourselves, if I was just to purchase the radios, this is such a great idea because it's not just helping Elyria. Don't think that this ARPA money is just going to Elyria. This county ARPA money is going to be able to purchase radios for all the fire departments uh, in the county. It's just that Lorraine and Elyria are the largest departments, so we're going to get uh, more than than the smaller departments. The Northeast fire departments are already on this system. They did it themselves on a grant and it's proved so successful that when the ARPA money came to the county, the rest of the fire chiefs spoke to them, spoke to EMA, to 911, everybody we had to, but because of all the drama, it's taking a long time. So hopefully Wednesday that gets uh, alleviated and I will probably be coming back then to ask council to just say it's a formality, but one more roadblock that they've kind of put in the chief's um, way is that they want a verbal support. I received that support already. I'm going to ask again. So when that time comes, I'll need it a second time. 
uh, but it's so vital. We had a fire in Sheffield Village. <clears throat> My firefighters were called for mutual aid and they could not communicate with the Sheffield firefighters or the Sheffield Lake firefighters. All the fire departments that responded, my fire department was the only fire department that couldn't talk to the, to the command or anybody. And that is about as dangerous as can be. So again, if, if O'Leary was to go into this alone, I'd probably be asking for $160,000, $170,000. And that's just not possible. So um, that will be forthcoming. So I just wanted to kind of throw it out there to you. You'll probably be reading about it. Um, and uh, if you see the powers to be at uh, the county commissioners, please, please push it. Not only now, but at the first of the year when there is a change of leadership. That's all I have, unless you have questions. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Tillett. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, will this interact with the police department? In the city of Valeria, it will. Okay. And what makes it so nice with these radios is it doesn't matter what kind of system, you just turn the dial. These radios cost $6,500 a piece. That's more than my firefighters turnout gear that they wear. So uh, to answer your question, we'll be able to talk to everybody. Thank you. Mr. Callahan. Okay, through you, Mr. President, uh, to Chief Pernesti, uh, your statement there just a moment ago before uh, Councilman Tillett asked the question, you said, get with them before the end of the year because there could be a change. So my question to you is, do you anticipate a vote before the end of the year or do you have no idea? We hope Okay. the vote is Wednesday. Okay, okay. If it's not, we're in trouble. All right, that, uh, that helps us out. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions for Chief Pernesti? Thank you, Chief. Watch the space heaters when it gets cold going to get really cold. Director Calvert mentioned um, shelters and people are going to be using, uh, we're going to see an increase in calls, I guarantee it. So just be careful. Thank you, Chief. Mr. Farkas, Chief Building Official. Thank you, Mr. President, through you. About three months ago at uh, a past council meeting, I had mentioned about preparing a year-end report for the building department. I have uh, compiled that result and provided a packet to each. I just wanted to give a brief overview of the uh, building department functions. It's not, I, I didn't do the overview. The overview, we, we typically deal with uh, interactions with residents and our common goal is life safety. We review residential plans, commercial plans for submittal and approvals. Our department is uh, currently staffed by very talented people, certified professionals, and our, our goal ultimately is to improve community service. On page one, as you get past the cover page, On this page here, this discusses the actual projects that were received over uh, the last three years. I only went back three years because I felt that was the most pertinent numbers. If the panel is curious, I did go back a little bit further and we were in the uh, two digits. We were putting out 50 houses, 30 houses in some years. As you can see, the, the commercial projects, we have steadily increased right now as of 1128 when this data was compiled. The numbers were at 126 commercial projects. We can add another 20 to those since last I checked. The residential homes that came in were uh, in 2020, 109, 2021, 113, and 156 this year and counting. So as it is right now, we are inundated with a lot of new homes. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, as you go down to the new subdivision, these are the current subdivisions that we have active. Uh, we have Fieldstone subdivisions, which consists of 201 homes, River Run Landing, 109 homes, 
Uh, number three, that subdivision was just recently submitted of the completion of 229 projects. Uh, we have Pikewood Manor, which is um, near Lowe's. Those are manufactured homes, but nonetheless, we are involved in those to some extent. Uh, Ridgewater, Harvest Meadows, Oak Tree Place, et cetera. Those totals are over 1,000 homes just within the last couple of years projected. And if the proposed subdivisions that are on the horizon, the Riverfield Reserves uh, off on Indian Hollow, those are projected to produce 281 homes and the Valley uh, of the Vistas, down the Valley of the Eagles, those are projected at 155 homes. So I just wanted to give a complete scope of the number of projects that our department has been receiving. Uh, page two. It's, oh, thank you. It's hard to lean over. That's going to be tough to fit. On page two, I did a chart that, can, that shows basically the number of projects the building department's involved with. A lot of people ask, what does this, the building department do? We are involved in uh, many varieties of projects from commercial, new buildings, additions, repairs, electric plumbing, heating, uh, waterproofing, sidings, roof fences, et cetera. In 2020, we had a total of 672 projects come in and 2,556 uh, 2, residential for a grand total of about 3,200 projects. Those fees generated from those projects came to about uh, 791,000. The following year in 21, we generated approximately 3,332 uh, projects, commercial and residential combined, for a total uh, grant uh, input of about 4, 456,273. And in 2022, <clears throat> the projects again have increased. We're up to about 3,444, and those numbers are still growing. Again, this was done in uh, November 28th, and the totals produced so far is about 682,000. Now, several months ago, Mr. Tollett had asked, due to the fee increases, what the projected incomes would come. We have that number. As I put down in the lower right-hand corner, due to the increase, when this was tallied, we brought in about an extra $211,000. I had asked staff to run a recent revised report. That number has jumped to almost $250,000 income. So the fee increases are working. And this will be my segue into my later report. Next one, Mayor. This last sheet <clears throat> goes into our inspection team. Uh, I did this for the benefit of the group. That way everybody is aware of what our staff is compiled of, the different diversified certified inspectors, and exactly what their responsibilities are. This particular aspect of having trained personnel is difficult because uh, not many people want to get certified anymore. And once they do, it's hard to keep them because they want to either jump to another community that may pay a little bit more. So with this, I tally the total number of inspections to give a scope of the amount of work these uh, men and women do in the department. In 2020, again, we had a total of 3,228 uh, permits issued. And out of those inspections, commercial and residential combined, in 2020, they did 5,160. In 2021, we had uh, 3,332 projects issued and we had a total of 7,122 inspections completed. And in 2022, we had 3,444 and counting, and this one actually kind of blew my mind when I did the numbers, we're up to 8,500 inspections. Now I did break down the number of inspections per inspector. If anyone has any questions, be more than happy to answer those, or you can come see me at the office. But I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to the crew because what we do would not be possible. I've asked several of the, the staff to show and, and a couple did arrive. And with that, I just, it wouldn't be possible without my crew because we work so well together and their dedication to the job is bar none. And just with our, our communication is what helps us make, we're an unstoppable team. So I just wanted to give a shout out to the crew and thank you guys for all your hard work. I really appreciate it. And with that, um, I'm open to any questions. That's all I had in my report, as it, it's still changing. But I do plan on doing these every year. 
And I may switch it up and do it at the beginning of the next year, just that way I have all the data in hand. But I wanted to make this play for my future budget request to show that I am bringing in some extra money. All right, very good, thank you. Mr. Farkas, Ms. Mitchell. Thank you, Mr. President, through you. I sent a request today to have you guys check something out. Is that okay to do? Can I go directly through you? Normally, I would have gone through the safety service director, but now you're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Mr. President, Ms. Mitchell, absolutely. Feel free to send me an email. I would prefer that. At least that way, I'm in the know. Okay. And that way, I can get someone dispatched right away to investigate, of which we did. Thank you, and you did. Thank you very much. Very good. Any other questions for Mr. Farkas? Mr. Aswell. Through you, Mr. President. Um, you know, when we start looking at this new review and we're coming up with uh, people building tiny homes and these uh, container homes, is there going to be a whole new set of codes for something like that? Or are they reviewing that? Thank you. Through you, uh, Mr. President, Mr. Oswald. The tiny homes, from a zoning perspective, pretty much are not permitted the way our current zoning code is written. It's very restrictive in regards to setbacks. You have to connect to certain utilities. The bigger hurdle is through the 2019 Ohio Residential Code in order to get a tiny home to comply. There are certain air requirements, smoke detector requirements, egress window requirements that unfortunately a tiny home just cannot produce. In regards to shipping containers, the last memo I received from the Ohio State Board of Building Standards indicated they were unable to certify those units as an industrialized unit, similar to a manufactured home, because they're shipping containers. They're recycled, they come off a boat, they have very caustic wood flooring that's meant to kill any bugs so they don't get transport from one area to another. I don't know what the state's going to do with those. It does seem to be a very viable aspect. If you watch these shows on TV, they're popping up in the middle of the woods. People are building houses out of them. Again, it's a steel box. I don't know how the code is going to adjust to that, but the last I left off, the state would not approve it. Yeah. Council Chair. <clears throat> uh, Mayor Whitfield. Yeah, so uh, through you, to that last point, last uh, week I was wor uh, with the Ohio Mayor's Alliance, which is the mayors of the 30 largest cities in the state and this topic came up about Ohio's building code. So I know we, it was the uh, Ohio Chamber of Commerce president had mentioned this is something we wanna partner on because there's a shortage of housing in Ohio being developed. And so they're, they're reviewing things like what you're talking about, tiny homes, all the stuff that's maybe slowing things down and maybe unnecessary regulations that we have on the books. So hopefully we see some of those changes at the state that will then trickle down here to the city. Okay, thank you, Bear. Any other questions for Mr. Ms. Davis? Through you, Mr. President. I just want to say thank you that we are allowed to talk to the inspectors. And I know they get lots of calls because we get lots of calls. Thank to Mr. Green. He answers my call and he answers my email. So, um, you know, the, it's an ongoing problem. I tell you, they move from one side of the town to the other side of the town with all the baggage. And just thank you for being available. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Farkas, if you could, why don't you have some of your employees, just so they could record it, we can put a, oh. a face to the name. Uh, Mary. Mary Tomsky, she is, we call her the, the front brain of the department. Without her, we could not uh, run anything. She is a financial project system coordinator. You need anything, go to Mary. You have Steve Hughes. He is our residential building inspector. He is relatively a new hire, but he has construction experience, very knowledgeable. And do you have any residential questions? He's your primary guy out in the field for the new homes. Bobby Green. Bobby Green, Deputy Housing Inspector. Um, very seasoned property maintenance, one of two that are solely dedicated to the enforcement of property maintenance. And I, we're gonna have a separate discussion regarding property maintenance coming up, but he is primarily responsible for target areas where he goes out and enforces peeling paint, junk cars, et cetera. Brandon. Uh, that's Mr. Brandon Borelli. He is my building inspector and also a residential building official. He is primarily responsible for commercial projects. A lot of the big schools, a lot of the big projects, you'll see Brandon out there on site. Very good. 
Thank well, thank you. you. We appreciate your hard work and efforts. Keep up the good work. We got oh, one more? I got, he's hiding in the back. You weren't supposed to hide in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Parker. He's also one of our deputy housing inspectors, and he works uh, hand in hand with Mr. Burley. Very talented people. Very good. We well, thank you for your hard work and efforts. Keep up the good work. All right, uh, Mr. Corazan, Superintendent of Wastewater. Anybody have any questions for Mr. Corazan? President's referrals and remontrances. Item number one, community development. Item number two, finance committee. Item number three, finance committee. Item number four, finance and utilities committee. Item number five, utilities committee. I'm number six, Utilities Committee. I'm number seven, Utilities Committee. Um, I'm gonna add uh, items eight through nine received in place by the files clerk's office. I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna make a joint referral to the CD and Finance Committee for the potential real estate transaction with the Larry City Schools. to strategic planning, which is the half percent. Petitions and remonstrances from the lobby? There are none. Petitions and remonstrances from council members? There are none. Re reports of standing and special committees? There are none. Resolutions first reading. Sponsored by finance. A resolution approving a list submitted by the safety service director for the collection of delinquent inactive utility accounts and directing the clerk of council to certify said accounts to Lorain County Auditor. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this resolution be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Sayers. Is there any further discussion? Question. On suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. <clears throat> On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Resolution 2022-32. That's all resolutions first reading. Resolution second reading. There are none. Resolutions third reading. There are none. Ordinances first reading. Sponsored by finance and ordinance amending ordinance number 2022-45 known as the 2022 permanent appropriations ordinance to change funds in various accounts. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules. Second. Second by Mr. Senator. Is there any further discussion? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-204. Sponsored by finance. An ordinance authorizing the finance director to transfer funds to the specified account and declare an emergency. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, excuse me one second for clarification. Do I make the amendment call? Okay. Mr. President, um, excuse me one second. I request that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency. Second. Second by Mr. Um, Schneider. Mr. Law Director Derry. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. President. I just uh, I'm gonna make a request that this matter be amended based upon um, the ordinance language that was placed before each of you at your seats due to the fact that it was brought to my attention earlier today from the finance director that um, the amount to be transferred uh, to the various funds needed to be break it, broken down. Um, and therefore, I would ask for the motion um, if you would so concur, if that is your I concur, and that is my intent. Does the second concur? The second concurs. 
I'll call for the question. Questions have been called on the suspension. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-205. Thank you all very much. Sponsored by Finance. An ordinance authorized the mayor to enter into a professional services agreement to hear primary plans exam to hire primary exams primary plans examiner and backup plans examiner and declare an emergency. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency. Second. Second by Mr. Snyder. Is there any further discussion? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-206. Sponsored by Finance. An ordinance authorizing the mayor to purchase a Ford Explorer police interceptor vehicle and necessary equipment for the same for the Elyria Police Department through a participating purchasing program authorized by the state of Ohio and declared an emergency. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency. Second. Second by Mr. Schneider. Is there any further discussion? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-207. Sponsored by Finance. An ordinance authorizes the mayor to purchase a camera replacement system for the Lear Police Department through a participating purchasing program authorized by the state of Ohio and declared an emergency. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency. Second. Second by Mr. Schneider. Is there any further discussion? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-208. Sponsored by Finance, an ordinance authorizes the mayor to purchase a Lenco armored vehicle for the Elyria Police Department through a participating purchase program authorized by the state of Ohio and declared an emergency. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency. Second. Second by Mr. Schneider. Is there any further discussion? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-209. Sponsored by Finance. An ordinance amending ordinance number 2016-6, known as the salary ordinance for certain employees of the Lear Municipal Court, declaring emergency. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency with proposed amendments. And I'll turn it over to Law Director. Can I get a second? Second. Second by Mr. Senator Law Director Deary. To you, Mr. President, uh, it was brought to my attention uh, earlier today by uh, Finance Director Poleski that the um, cited um, uh, ordinance number um, was in error. Therefore, uh, I would ask that should Council so desire that um, this ordinance be amended um, based upon the language that was set before you um, at your seats uh, this evening. 
Does the motion concur? The motion concurs. Does the second? The second concurs. I call for the question. Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, <laughs> all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-210. Bonds by finance. An ordinance amending ordinance number 2016-6, known as the salary ordinance, to reflect the updated wages of the city of the Leary Municipal Court elected officials, effective January 1st, 2023, and declared an emergency. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency with an additional amendment. Second. Second by Mr. Schneider. Law Director Deary. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, through you, um, much like the uh, previous agenda item, I would request uh, at the desire of council uh, that this matter be amended to the extent um, that the language uh, from the previous proposed ordinance uh, be amended uh, to the extent uh, that the language that was laid up, uh, upon the table before you at your seats earlier this evening uh, be the replacement language. Does the motion concur? The motion concurs. Does the second? The second concurs. Can I call for the question? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-211. Sponsored by finance, an ordinance amending ordinance number 2016-6, known as the salary ordinance, to incorporate the 2023 Ohio minimum wage for certain municipal court part-time pay grades and declare an emergency. Mr. Chalep. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency and to contain and to be amended. Second. Second by Mr. Schneider, Law Director Deary. Thank you, Mr. President, through you. Uh, similar to what we just did uh, on the previous agenda item, I'd ask that the language be amended pursuant to what was uh, laid uh, before you on the table previously this e evening to the extent uh, that um, the uh, ordinance number 2016-6 was uh, included uh, as a typographical error. Does the motion concur? The motion concurs. Does the second? The second concurs. Call for the question. Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-212. Sponsored by finance. An ordinance amending ordinance number 2016-6, known as the salary ordinance to incorporate the 2023 Ohio minimum wage for part-time seasonal pay grades and declared emergency. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency and to be amended. Second. Law Director. Second by Mr. Senator, Law Director Deary. Thank you, Mr. President, I would ask that uh, language of this ordinance be amended um, to the extent that references to 2016-6 um, be stricken due to typographical error and uh, the proposed language was uh, laid on the table uh, previously this evening. Does the motion concur? The motion concurs. The second? The second concurs. Is there any further discussion? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-213.
sponsored by Utility Safety Environment. An ordinance authorized the mayor to enter into a professional services agreement with the Black and Beach Management Consulting LLC for professional services pertaining to the water transmission mains assessment project and declared emergency. Ms. Mitchell. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed on its first reading under suspension of rules and declared an emergency. Second. Second by Ms. Davis. Is there any further discussion? Questions. Questions will be called on the suspension. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the emergency, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Ordinance 2022-214. Sponsored by finance, an ordinance to fix the temporary appropriations for the first three months of the year of 2023 and other expenses of the city of Elyria. Mr. Tillett. Mr. President, I ask that this ordinance be passed in its first reading under suspension of rules. Second. Second by Mr. Snow. Is there any further discussion? Question. On the suspension, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. On the passage, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carried. Motion. Ordinance 2022-215. That's all ordinances first reading. Ordinances second reading. There are none. Ordinances third reading. There are none. Committee calls. Committee development. Request the law director, safety service director, building inspector, and engineer on Monday 1-9, beginning at 6 p.m. All items referred. Joint CD Finance requests the Mayor, Law Director, Finance Director, Safety Service Director, and Engineer on 1-9, immediately following Community Development Meeting. All items referred. Finance requests the Mayor, Law Director, Finance Director, Safety Service Director, and Engineer on 1-9, immediately following the Joint Meeting. All items referred. Utility Safety Environment requests the Law Director, Safety Service Director, and Engineer on Wednesday 1-11, beginning at 6 p.m. All items referred. And Strategic Planning requests the Mayor, Safety Service Director, Finance Director, and Law Director on Tuesday 1-3-2023, immediately filed a council meeting. Okay. Miscellaneous and unfinished business. Mr. Lippian. Through you, Mr. President. I just wanted to give a shout out to Mr. Gary Gersack, who was selected as First Ward Good Neighbor of the Year by the Good Neighbors Initiative. We put on a Christmas concert this last weekend where we raised about $250 for Illyria Ukrainian refugees. And Mr. Gary Gersack was selected by his community neighbors as the neighbor of the year. So if you get a chance to see Mr. Gersack, please give him a hearty congratulations. Some of the things I read he did for his neighbors and those in his community was heartening and, and inspiring. And I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Very good. Anybody else? Me too. I would like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Be safe out there. Nothing being said, Ms. Mitchell? Seeing no other business, I will make a motion for adjournment and Merry Christmas, everyone. Second. Second by Mr. Sears. Any further discussion? Question. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. <clears throat> motion carried. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is that a record or is it? It's, I don't know if it's an all time record. It's definitely not a record. But it's, it's definitely, I mean, usually we've had a lot in the last five years. Oh wow. They buy it. They went on to buy every big ten. They went all the way by Michigan. Really? Some big boys, man. Oh. Jeez. We got it. I don't know what 